I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the blog. Okay. Okay. Uh, I promised you guys to show you all my all of my tattoos, and I'm going to do that. Um, and the meaning behind them, behind them, behind them. And okay, so let's go to my first tattoo. Uh, that was uh, I was 17 years old. I took it on my foot. I um, actually did it in Cambodia when we were recording Sweatshop. And uh, I was of course scared that no someone would see it, like my parents and stuff. So I just said to myself, okay, wait, let's take it a place there when like nobody can see it. So I did made in Morocco uh, under my foot and people are like, why do you have Morocco? Are you a half Morocco and or, or what do you say? Uh, no. I uh, my parents just made me made me in Morocco. So I'm born in Norway. I have Norwegian parents, like almost, and um, yeah. But I made it in Morocco. So is it strange that I know that, or do people like usually know that? So here you can see it. Uh, I have to like do the focus with my phone. For some kind of reason, uh, and yeah, here I can see it. And people are like asking me, doesn't it fade away? Oh, why did that happen? Uh, like, doesn't it fade away? As you can see, the M is a bit faded, but this is good. I took this when I was 17 years old. So yeah, that was my first tattoo. And uh, people are like asking me, how can I do a tattoo under my foot? Because a lot of the two shops, they say that it's no point to do it and they don't want to do it because like you can, I don't know, write a bad review or something about them because the tattoo was gone or I don't know what they're, they're like saying, but you just have to say, I want to do this and I don't care about what you're saying. Because when I did this in Cambodia, of course it wasn't a problem at all. But when I did my other foot, that was my second tattoo. <laughs> uh, I did it in Norway and the guy that was supposed to do it, he like refused to do it. So I just had to say like, man, <laughs> I don't care. Like just fucking do it. I I'm, I'm, I, I want this tattoo. If, if it fades away, it's my problem, not yours. So you just have to like, I want to make this tattoo. I think that is a very interesting thing as well because when I did my second tattoo under my other foot, like, is it strange how we can like forget about pain? I, I think that is so interesting because um, when I did my first tattoo, okay, so if it's going to take a tattoo under your foot, it's going to hurt. It's going, it's going to hurt. And uh, uh, it was awful, it was really really awful and somehow one year later I forgot about the whole thing and I, when I sat there and did my other foot I was thinking like how the hell, how stupid can you be, like what the fuck, like you, have, you would never like fall in love again if you could remember how bad it was when you had a heartbreak. So I think that is the best and the worst thing about things about human beings is that we forget because it's really good that we forget some things but some things we maybe should not forget but maybe also that is the reason why people survive, you know? That you like you don't forget it but but it doesn't hurt that much like over time. So yeah. Uh, my second tattoo is my under my other foot. Uh, the writing says I am the architect of my own destruction. I did that one when I was 18 uh, in Norway. Um, and uh, yeah, I went through a really, really difficult period in, period in my life and uh, that's why I did that tattoo. Because I am the architect of my own destruction and I also think that is so important to understand that you are the only person that can control your own mind. Nobody, like, nobody said to me that now we're going to have a bad day. Like, I decided that. 
people are they are like busy with their own life like I decided that I wanted to be depressed of course life was difficult and things happened and yeah but anyway like in my head I let myself fall so I think that is also a very interesting thing so let's see on the next tattoo uh, here we go here you can see it it's like I'm the architect of my own destruction and as you can see like the end of destruction is a little bit faded uh, but yeah it's pretty good yet and if you're like wondering about the fonts and stuff like the writing and the text and everything I don't really know like I just decided when I was there and asked if they could just make the Make it the same as the other tattoo. Is it raining? Oh my god, it's raining. I don't remember which one I took next. I think it is this one. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, and that I took in Portugal. Uh, it's my three best friends. Uh, and I think like... Everyone was like, oh my god, but what if they're not your best friends in a year or something? It, it's important for me to like, if something happened in your life, it happened. So I really learned a lot from these people and I love them. And I still love some of them though, I love them all. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they um, helped me through like a really difficult period in my life and uh, I wanted to have them on my body as I like a thank you for the rest of my rest of my life so <sighs> you're like talking really fast so yeah the next one I think was this one uh come on <laughs> yeah you can uh, there we go there we can see it um and I'm like really known for this tattoo I feel like um uh, but yeah uh, it's basically like my mom and dad is the meaning behind it and the really crazy and special thing about this tattoo is that I was 19, went to Spain, just googled a tattoo shop, I really wanted to do this tattoo, my mom and dad said yes and it was my first tattoo like on my body except my finger and I was so scared and then when I got to this place it was at someone's home. <laughs> And I, I didn't dare to say anything, so I just walked in and it was this girl with her dogs and she was like, okay, yeah, put your hand on the table and I didn't dare to say it to my mom and dad. They know, know now, but I, it took me so many years to say it and I was like, okay, yeah, and shit could go really wrong. But it was pretty good. Like, these lines are really straight and the tattoo is just perfect. And I love it. And uh, the really, 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 really cool part is that I took this tattoo uh, in Spain at someone's home, totally random. And two years later, I did a new tattoo. Um, okay. I did this one. And you can see like here now it looks a bit <laughs> but it's okay it's straight it is actually really straight but yeah. this girl that like in Spain uh, moved to my hometown how crazy is this so I just got a tattoo uh, lesson <laughs> a tattoo uh, app app appointment uh, in my hometown, I went there and I sat down in a chair and suddenly this girl comes out of the room and I was like, okay, what the fuck? Do you remember me? Do you remember this? <laughs> and she was like, oh my god, yeah, I tattooed you in Spain and stuff and I was like, I was mind blown, I'm still, I still am. And it was so crazy, it, that is so crazy and yeah, so she did that tattoo and she also did my father's tattoo that day and the meaning behind that one is that uh, it sounds like you can you have to carry yourself in Norwegian but it is mirrored so if I stand in a mirror I can read it 
but nobody else can read it. So if I take like a selfie of it, you can see it and see the writing, but like you can't you can't read it if you are not like if not something is really wrong with you. Uh, next to two after that one. Was that one last one? No, okay. And then I I okay yeah. Oh my god, I had, I had this one too. And then I took this one. Is it possible to see that? Can you see that? There. I am free. Okay, I look like a fucking psycho. Uh, and that one I I took in LA. This random guy he said, "Don't do it. It's going to be faded." And I was like, "I'm gonna do." And I don't want, don't know why I took that one. I just like I am free. How cliche is that? But yeah. After that, I did. Yeah, I did this one. I think it's the next absence, and I really, really love this tattoo. And um, it means a lot to me. Everyone tells me all the time that I am really, really absent and. I, I I have like a really really problem with following conversations and if I stand in a room full of people I can't speak to you like I can't you will see that I really really struggling with have a conversation with you because I I I am so like I want to hear what everyone else is saying so I'm just like looking at like this hearing everything, trying to uh, listen to you as well and and actually it's pretty awful. I don't, I, I can't do it so I'm never in crowded places and events and stuff if I know it's a lot of people standing. Uh, it's just too much going on for me. And next one, I think I did this one with my ex. <laughs> I promised myself to never do like a boyfriend tattoo stuff just because, yeah, you know, because suddenly he was my ex. But I don't care, it's two dots. I think it's cool. He didn't tattoo it, he just like poked it. <laughs> and then we have... Oh, I have this one as well. It's like a dot for my... One of my best friends, Celia, that I know is going to be there for the rest of my life. So she... She's actually also there. Like one of those dots. But she got, she got two spots. But she has the same, so it's really cute, really cute. And the last of two I took was this one. I didn't make my mom so happy. She is so afraid of snakes. Sorry, mom. But as you can see, it's faded. And I actually don't know what I'm going to do with it. But um, it was really, really, really cool when it was new. Now it's just like you can't see what it is. Like maybe I'm going to tattoo, do a tattoo over it. Fuck, it's raining and I'm going outside. Maybe I should do it all again or I don't know. It's a snake, it's not so important. Give it to me. And yeah, thank you for watching and um, have an awesome day, cuties.